Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. We're going to finish our picture in Faye Portraits by Selena Fedek. Um, sorry I didn't get to film a bit earlier, I've been really badly suffering from sinusitis. Seems to be a little bit better now. So, this is, I want to say, an adult channel and the images and, and the conversations we have are for adults and in no way, shape or form intended for children. So, I'm going to zoom in, we're going to do her wings and we're going to do the rays so I've got some jelly rolls here because I'm going to do something I have never done before so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it very lightly on like that I don't know how this is going to work if at all just me just playing it's like I said you never know if something's gonna work unless you try it so this is a bit of an experimental picture so I'm just gonna do a bit of that and to get a bit of purple now and I'm just gonna get my little my, my little finger and I'm just gonna smear it around a bit just to this stuff dries very quick, I must admit. Quicker than the link shine. Which is fine, it's actually very good that it does. So I'm just going to smear it on a bit. It does look quite nice. I'm getting a bit of paper stuck to me. So again, get some purple on, get a bit more blue on, that light, lovely light blue. And we'll just smear it all around a bit. Oh, it does, does dry very, very quickly, this stuff. Very, very quickly. But, Way that's quite good. I quite like the way that's looking. So I'm just going to put some purple on here and smear the purple like this. That's better. And the more we do it, the more we'll learn the best way of doing it. A bit here. That's another thing. And I'll just put a bit more blue on here like that. Round there, round there, round there. We'll even put them all on there. And we'll just spread that around like that. A bit more on here. I don't want it so thick. I want it almost like translucent. And that looks quite nice. That's the sort of look I want. Now I can see there are gaps here. There will be. I can just get it in and smear it about a bit. Like I said, just trying new things. Um, how are we all? Are we all okay? Um, we're here, we're fine now. I mean, like I said, I've had very bad sinusitis. It's probably caused by, partly by the cold weather we've had. We have had snow and ice, which obviously if you're somewhere like Canada is not unusual. But where I am in, in South Wales, we're not really far enough up the valleys to get it like they do. Um, you know, it, it normally bypasses us because we're sitting just in a dip. So it usually hits the, the hills around us, but nowhere else. Uh, it doesn't come near us normally. However, I will say that on Sunday we woke up to not a huge amount of snow, but a good couple of inches, which for us is unusual. Um, I wouldn't go shopping because I didn't want to try and drive down the hill. Other people were risking it and that's... They're well within their rights too, but uh, it's not for me. Let's get in a bit closer. And, um, yeah, I didn't really want to, to risk driving down the hill. They're going to be covered in glitter. Well, that's a great tragedy, that is, being covered in glitter, isn't it? <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so I didn't really want to risk driving down the hill and maybe sliding my car into somebody else's or hurting myself or damaging my car or hurting Jennifer. Um, so we actually walked to nursery on Monday and then Monday afternoon I did pick her up in the car. My car did get stuck on the ice at the top and my wheels were spinning uh, but I did manage to get it out and uh, pick her up and again this morning got stuck on the ice at the top taking her to nursery but it was all right because I um, again figured out the best way of getting it off the ice and we got to nursery and then when I went brought I, I, uh, I went out to pick her up and I went shopping I left her with my mum and dad because I can't take her shopping with me she's just too well she's three years old so she's into everything and she runs around and wants to play and that's understandable she's a child and you know it's not safe and I thought it was just going to be easier Paul's working, he was in a meeting, he couldn't have her so normally I would just say tough, you've got to put up with it but yeah, he was in a lot of meetings today so he couldn't um, so he um, so she stayed with my mum and dad and that was fine and uh, yeah so she I went off and I got the shopping done twice as quick as I would if she'd been with me, which is really good. And um, But when I went to get her, rather than go up to the top, even though the ice was melting, um, there is a back lane, I went down the back lane, There's, there was quite a bit of ice down there, but it's not well enough to get stuck on or, and I, I didn't slide on it, so I know tomorrow, chances are we've had some rain, um, it's probably going to be fine. So, but uh, I can always take it around the back if I need to. I'm really liking the way these wings are coming out. Look at that. Look at the way it's shining. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of white. There's a little bit there. I can just see it. I just put a bit more in. That's the bit I'm doing now. The wing I'm doing now. And if this is a technique I'll use again. Normally we don't want to smudge our gel pens. We want thick glitter. But we want this to, to blend in. And look really nice and shimmery for her wings. I could use a bit of cotton wool I think but there's nothing like getting a bit stuck in with the uh, with a bit of mess yourself is there let's be honest. It's fun you know. It's like being a kid again you know why why should Jennifer have all the mucky fun playing in the mud and getting covered in, in paint and glitter why can't I do it as well you know. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking anyway. So yeah look, look at my finger. <laughs> I'll get that off after before we start the, the, the next bit which we'll be using paint <laughs> but this is so much fun just put a bit on and we just go Wee! I'm just literally just dragging it down the page or up the page try not to get it on her her dress but yeah this is a I think I'll use this technique for fairy wings a lot um, especially, you know, because the one thing I hate doing is fairy wings because they never look fairy enough and I think this has worked and I like this and of course you can use different colours for fairy wings you can have pink and red and a red and gold and blue and purple and blue and si dark blue and silver purple and silver would be nice so, yeah, I mean it's great and it's it's fun and if, you know, if you get covered in glitter, who cares? It's glitter. You can never have enough glitter in your life. But we don't want it so block. We don't want a block of glitter, a block of colour on it. It needs to be spread. I need a little bit more purple up there. I did get out several different colours, like pink and a darker blue and a silver. But um, I'm sticking with these. <laughs> I like these colours, they're lovely. Look at it shine. It shines much better than um, just... Mind you, they are they are jelly rolls as well. There we go. Let's put that in. And jelly rolls are very, very good quality pens, so I will say that. So they do shine lovely. As you can see, I'm just putting some 
smudges. Oh, it's gone out of focus. Hello. Probably because I'm putting my finger in it all the time. So, it's just smudge. I should turn off the autofocus sometimes, really, shouldn't I? I smudge this one as well because it's the last bit. A little bit there. That's that. There we go. And now we're just a bit blue. So, yeah. Because originally I was going to try and use the Mozart, but I still haven't had a chance to finish that video with my headaches. I was hoping to do it last night, or do some of it last night. Um, so I will use the Mozarts I've already used. How's that looking? Let's have a look. We just need a little bit there and a little bit there. And a little bit there. That's it. So I, I, I can see where I need to put a little bit of extra colour. Usually it's, it's around this edge. I'm just going to do that. Smudge it in a bit there. And then up on these top couple. Here. Because when you're looking over the top of it like I am, you can't always see it very well. Yeah, I do like this technique and I will definitely be using it on fairy wings again. I really like the way they've come out. Right, so I'm going to get the paints out now and we will do the rest of it. And I'm also going to get that off of my finger. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to try and do a bit of background. I've got two different size brushes here. I've got one and two from the Derwent's. And we're literally going to do these sun rays, I hope. Um, thin brush, obviously, on the thinner one. The thicker brush on the thicker one. And I've got here the Mozart Metallic. So I've got more of these in half pans, which I'm going to be um, using to colour in uh, Chibi. Uh, Colour in Heaven special um, very soon um, using the other set but this is just the metallic golds and there's a silver but I'm going to be using I think that one and that one that one on the thick array and that one on the thin array I think would look better so we'll start with the the thin rays so I said we're going to use the darker one was it the darker one on the thin array doesn't really matter does it yeah, the darker one on the thin array. So I love these paints. I think they're lovely. I just thought you might like to see how they they work. So they are they are a watercolour and this is a gold. So yeah, this is a very I just see as you see, isn't it beautiful shades of gold? Well this is a more of a bronzy colour than gold. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at how beautiful it is. Let me just try and get it in a bit. So obviously it's very difficult for me to see because again I've got the daylight lamp on which is very bright so I can only see bits of it now. I'm using this one as a watercolour brush rather than as a water brush because there's no water in it and I can't find my pipettes and they do tend to leak. So somebody has advised that they've got them and they just use them as no normal um, brushes, but I am going to order myself some watercolour brushes. Um, possibly tonight, because I get paid Friday, so I've got a little bit of money in my account, because although I went shopping today, Paul had to pay me some shopping and he owed me something for something else, so I've got that, and my mum owes me some money, so that's good, because uh, I get stuff for her. So, yeah, these are lovely actually colours. So I've only used these once before. Gosh, out of focus again. And that was in a Colour in Heaven book. As you can see, as you can see, there's a gap there. I'll go over that again after we've finished. Um, but uh, only once, so it's nice to get them out and use them again. But I think I do want proper watercolour brushes rather than these water brushes which are nice don't get me wrong but I find you either get too much water out or not enough so like I said with this one I'm actually I'm not worrying too much about going over the lines because obviously we will be going into it again I am actually using it as a watercolour brush rather than a water brush like I said there's no water in it I don't know where my pipette is and of course this way I can colour how much water is actually on the brush now I know it's going into her hair 
that's okay. I can always go back over it. There we go. Yep. Oh, lush. I just think this, this, these colours are beautiful. And I've not used this one before. I've only used the really light one and the silver, I think. So I haven't used any of the other colours. I'm dying to use the, the bronze, the really deep copper colour it is actually, and the rose gold, because those two are gorgeous. And again, they are in those two are in the half pan, so that will be a matter of seeing how well they work. I'm impressed with them to a point because the colours are very vibrant but I haven't tried painting with them yet so you'll have to wait and see. It won't be long. I'll probably be filming it in the next day or so once I've finished this colouring chart. And then uh, here we go and then this one will be down here and here. across a bit so you can see where it is. I'll tidy that up a bit. And this is a big one. I should have used the bigger brush for this. Rinse it out and use the other brush. Oh dear. <laughs> this one does have a, a teensy bit of water in it so I don't need to worry about uh, you know, this is size 2. Now size 2 is massive compared to size 1. Yet, um, you can see there's a lot of water coming out of it and I haven't I haven't dunked this in the uh, water valve. I've got a, like a, a painter's palette thing, mixing palette. I've got water in it. So it's very quiet here. We're still all under lockdown. There's no chance of that being lifted anytime soon. The UK has hit over 100,000 deaths that are apparently uh, COVID related which is awful, I will admit. It is terrible. Um, they are getting through the vaccinations. My dad has his last week, I think I mentioned it. So I'm relieved about that. So that's good. Um, I'm just gonna put some on here while I just get the water. Ugh, it's everywhere. But I do like this color, this sort of gold is beautiful. Sort of bronzy gold. It, it probably has a name like bronze. I'll tell you afterwards when I've finished what colours we've actually used. I should have looked before I started, didn't I? But I hadn't actually decided which ones to use. So I was like a min and R in between the very pale gold, but I thought, oh, it's too pale. I like this. But, uh, yeah. I am happy with her wings. I do like her wings. They're very nice. So, very pleased with the wings. So, I'm going to move it down so you can see where I'm working, which is down here. Just about see where I'm working. That's the only problem. Look how much water's coming out. I might have to squeeze it out, actually. I found it very hard to get water into these blinking things and very hard to get it out when you've got it in. So hopefully, once I get rid of it all, it'll be alright. But like I say, I'm going to order some proper brushes, I think. And I might even do that this evening. There's a few things I want to order. Not a lot, because uh, I don't want to spend all the money that's left. I'd like to try and put some in my savings account. I know they say you should uh, save the day you get paid, but I find that I'm dipping into it if I do that. But if I put it in at the end of the month before I get paid, I won't try and steal it back later. So, this one next. All right, there we go. It's not my best effort, but I'm enjoying it. It won't be a very long video today because I've only got this little bit to do. But I am pleased with the way the wings turned out. I'm very, very pleased with those wings, I must admit. So I will be using that method um, with the gel pen again. 
with the glitter gels to get that kind of effect because I just think it looks really nice when I've done this, all the gold, and I know I've got to do down that bottom end because I haven't done it yet, I will let this dry for a bit before I come back and uh, do the other paler, brighter gold. Um, just so that I, I, I'm not putting my hand into a wet patch, so to speak. Yeah, so I haven't really been, I've been reading books, I think I've read something like, is it 14 books this month? Or is it, fifth? I don't know, 14 or 15? It's not the end of the month yet. That's another thing I've got to order. I've got to order next month's um, Stephen King, which is The Green Mile. Um, I am thinking about doing a wrap up of all the books I've read this month. Oh, it's nearly empty now. But I'm thinking if I did, it's going to be so blinking long. But then you don't have to watch it, do you? So <laughs> you don't have to watch it. <laughs> you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. You can, but you don't have to. There we go. Oh, there's a bit more. I've just found a little bit more down here, look, in that corner there, where this bit is. Just put a bit in there. There we go. Right, so that's that lot done. So I'm just going to empty that. I'm going to clean my brush off and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's dried off a bit. I have had a quick look at the back of the box, actually, and we're using bronze and yellow gold. The colours are, i just put that there so you can see them, uh, copper, rose gold, bronze, yellow gold, light gold and silver. Now in, in the other set you don't get a silver, you get a metallic white which is nice. So now we're going to start over here and we're going to use the uh, yellow gold which is a li very light, or it's not as light as the other one. The other one I sort of used for a moon I think it was, or to give it a moon look. Oh my god that is a gorgeous colour. Look at that. It's hard for you to see how beautiful it is. It is gorgeous. Oh, these paints are beautiful. Now I don't use paint very much because I'm not very good with paint. So it's something I do want to try and use a bit more. Now I've got to remember that there's no water in this water brush so I have got to keep dipping it in my water to get it to um, move, get it activated, get it going but I love this gold is absolutely gorgeous it's not going to be the tidiest but it's going to be very very metallic and shiny I really like these metallic paints and in fact I prefer the metallic paints to metallic gel pens which I find a, a bit dull. I'm not sure how well the metallic uh, paints will fare in the other set, uh, in the actual full set of Mozart's, but we'll, we'll find out, we will find out fairly shortly. I'll put this one here because I missed that bit. That's okay. Put that there. There's a lot of sparkle on this with the metallics and the glitter gel. It's probably overdone it a bit, but do you know what? I just don't care. There is never enough glitter in this world. I think that's what what uh, Jen says over at Reading Pugs. There's just not enough glitter. Uh, we need all, especially the, at the moment, we all need a bit of sparkle in our lives, so. I probably could have gone to the very pale gold to make it very different, but I quite like that. So I do quite like this. I think they're lovely colours and it's nice to actually cover some space with them and see what they look like. So I'm looking at, I forgot what colour I was using. I'm a bit dim, 
sometimes. <laughs> so yes, got a lot of um, plans for February for the channel. There's going to be lots more colouring chats, hopefully more than this month. We're going to have some more um, first impressions because I still haven't done the ones with the um, Arteza watercolours. Arteza watercolours. Um, I haven't used those pencils yet and it's, uh, I'm good to go. I've got my swatch book ready with all the numbers on it but I just haven't had a chance to film it because it's going to take a while. I might even try and film it downstairs. I'm thinking that I might start filming downstairs again uh, because of working on the big table rather than on this tray which is fine when I'm just colouring but sometimes it gets a bit awkward. It's alright for doing this actually but sometimes it can be a bit awkward when I'm um, trying to colour in swatch charts and such. But I, I don't know, see how it goes. So, might need a bit more bronze just there, I think. I definitely need a bit more bronze there. But I'll do that in a minute once I've done this gold. So that so I've got that one obviously I'm hoping this one will be up the mosaic one might be up this week but uh, it might not I've got tons and tons of flip throughs that I filmed last year that I still haven't put up and I might even mention I've got them in April and <laughs> you know if I do mention like something like April or a month it means I've got them in 2020 that, that month I am slowly working my way through them as you can tell but it does get to a point where you think oh I haven't done this and I don't really want to put my laptop on just to do that, but I need to, so it's tough. Oh, I love this. I do love these. So I will be trying these in other books as well, because this book isn't really built for um, water paint, uh, watercolours. I have used acrylics um, in these Amazon books before, and not too bad. I mean, the Colour in Heaven paper takes water quite well. Not brilliantly well, but quite well. Um, but, yeah. It's uh, quite difficult to, to work on. Because it's very thin paper. And, like I said, these brushes do kick out a lot of, of water. I'm just going to clean this off. And use this just to use that, uh, that bit, bit more bronze up here where we were using the original pen uh, pen with water in it and uh, all it's done is not, not a colour. So, but that's why I wanted to use the thicker brush on the bigger space but hey it's, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this picture and I've enjoyed using something different. It's not turned out brilliant but it's not turned out horrendous could have been a lot worse and the colours are really pretty I said I'm just topping up this bronze here a bit there there we go and I think that'll do it just clean my brush my brush wiped off and uh, put the top back on if I find it, see it somewhere oh, I'll find it in a minute, there it is and um, I'll zoom out and we'll have a look at our little multicoloured fairy. <laughs> a very sparkly fairy. <laughs> well, she's not spit. Well, her, so as you can see, this is the gold paint. You can see there's some, some missing bits. It's very hard to do it in the light, but I can always finish that off myself if I want to. But it, it actually quite looks quite nice. And then her wings, which we did with the smudging with the gel pen, looks really nice. I like that. I'll be using that again. So actually the background looks quite nice from a distance. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat. And so I've used um, various alcohol markers. Mostly I think it was my Everblends. Gel pens. They're the Sakura Jelly Rolls. And these um, current Como Ribby watercolour paint set, which is by Mozart. And that's those there. They're on Amazon. They're, they're about 10 quid for the six. And I really like them. I really do like them. 
I will be using them again. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. This was Ask Colouring and Fairy Portraits by Selena Fennec. Leave me a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody. Bye.